This is the consolation final in the men's USTA sectionals, 4-5 division, 18 and over. Interesting environment here. It's very loud. There's so many matches going on right now. Tons of people in all of the viewing areas. Very interesting environment for the players here. They're going to have to really keep deep to find focus. that obviously Mark would have loved to win, but especially because he got that second serve in. He got a tough topspin backhand, half volley. That would have been huge for him if he would have won that point, but now he's down two, three break points actually. mentally with the fast four format makes you feel much more tentative naturally about all your shots and that's why he's been so loath to come over the back end. Works out for him there. And I'm sure Mark will talk about all of this more in depth on his channel. And I will refrain from putting too much of my own spin on things for that reason. That's a good serve.
box to serve has deserted him right now. It's really unfortunate. That's the sort of slice that Mark wins a lot of matches on. Because people really notice his topspin one-handed backhand. That's the shot that looks really nice, but the shot that really wins a match is his awesome slice. And obviously he wants to come over the ball more, but his slice is very good. One of the nice things about being on the first court is that Mark can grab himself refreshments. So that's a bit easier on him logistically. This is a really tough serve to deal with. Mark doesn't look forward to big servers, and uh, you can see why. I mean, obviously, returning against big servers is stressful no matter what, but especially in a fast four format, it's brutal. That's such a good play, especially with Mark struggling with a tweaked knee right now. Sir Mark. Nice. <laughs> One thing that was working well for Mark yesterday was logs, and so far. The lobs haven't quite been there for him. On that shot, it was very difficult. Zach's a really nice guy. I'm sure he enjoyed that too. But yeah, that was an incredible return from Zach. And an even more wonderful pickup from Mark. There's a topspin backhand for Mark. Hopefully that'll help him build some confidence. It's so hard again in the fast forward format. That's going to be huge for Zach. That's 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 going to be huge for him.
Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. One, two. Great play. Yeah, that one didn't jump up as high on Mark, so he had a chance to drive that one, and it worked out for him. Zach still had a chance, but... Well, thank you. I, I hope so. Zach has been volleying really well. Could give him that. <laughs> it looks like, it looks like that was a let. I'm not exactly sure why. Possibly because of an incoming ball. Yeah, another great return by Zach. He's, after that shaky first game, he's really started firing on all cylinders. Amazing at the net. He's really tough to lob because, because of his height. Serving well, returning well, hitting a clean ball. Tough to beat. And he's moving well. Yeah, another rough thing about fast four is if you get down love 40, you have to win four points in a row. Zach is really, really playing well. Look at that. See, that was another good dipping forehand by Mark at Zach's feet. He still dug out a great volley. Mark finally came up with a lob good enough to beat him, but that's so tough with his height. That's such solid ball. That's just incredible tennis from Zach. Brilliant all-court tennis.
Let's go. Finally. <laughs> of course. Oh my god. We did change the floor. Change the 3-1 now it's 4. That's another great return, dipping at his feet. Another good dig that at least kept him in the point and gave him a chance to win. And, it, and he did. He's been so good at the net. He's been so good at everything. Zach could get that one back. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Well done. 